Hey, so today I'm doing an interview with a beautiful sister, Rachel, and we live together at a community in Ubud, and she's a mama and she also is holding retreats and events and workshops for women, um, just to empower them and to increase their, their innate knowingness and return them back to that. So I'm really happy to be speaking with her today because She's a very, very wise woman. And today we wanted to talk about the balance between the masculine and the feminine in terms of manifesting and moving forward in your life. And she has some personal experience with this and she wanted to share some insights that she's learned through her years of what's the best to, yeah, to operate from at different times. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, I've really explored with these ways. And, you know, as so many of us know, we, we live in such a masculine society where, you know, we're so focused on production and we're so focused on making things happen. And, you know, there was a time I actually, it started when I, t when I did a bunch of landmark forum workshops mm -hmm. about 15 years ago. And the essence of those workshops really blasted me open because it's all about taking responsibility for your own life, knowing that you are the creator of your own reality. And from that, okay, what do you want to create? Mm. And I just got so excited at the absolute infinite possibility of creation that I manifested some pretty spectacular things <laughs> from nothing. Yeah. And I was just like, okay, what do I want to create? here it is you know just like to to buy an apartment from nothing and then i realized through that process of creating these things that i felt were my dreams that i had just custom built this i built this custom box around myself right and and it was also you know taking energy i feel like the masculine way is you know that direction and it takes quite a bit of energy to mm to to move that forward and then you know many other things manifested i continued on that manifesting flow for for many years and then just kind of came to a point where i felt like there's there's something that needs to die here something's not feeling authentic for me right and i went into a very deep cocoon and let everything in the external world die mm. because I, I couldn't say yes to anything because nothing felt really authentic. I didn't know going much more deeply into my feminine nature. I didn't know how I was going to feel next week. Mm. So I needed to just say no to everything and yeah. fully die before I was ready to come back into the world. So it's like the pendulum, you know, when we're really extremely in the masculine, I needed to go so extremely into the feminine right. to find that balance yeah. once again. Yeah. And that feminine way is much more, the essence of femininity is being receptive. Mm. You know, just seeing what comes. And also, you know, there was a lot of personal, ego in a lot of my manifestations before mm -hmm. and then just like as I would trust more and surrender more and really let go to the flow seeing what spirit presented to me that was so far beyond my wildest dreams yeah. to know that wow how can I even want to create and this life and, and direct this when spirit has a plan that's so yeah. much greater yeah. and more profound and, and magical yeah so really I got to the place where I was just in that flow of receptivity and then feeling, okay, this is, this is what's flowing down the river. Is this feeling in resonance? No, I'm going to just let it continue to flow. Yeah, and trusting and that as well. Yeah. Trusting that intuition and what you are feeling. Yeah. And trusting that, you know, when you're saying no to work, that, you know, something's going to come that is actually in resonance. Mm. You know, so many people are doing these things that they're not passionate about at all, that they, mm. you know, just because it's there and it's work. And, you know, just having that confidence to say no and actually, no, this isn't in resonance. It's not authentic with my mm. being anymore. Even if it's something that's conscious and beautiful that felt good last month, you know. So getting to that place of, you know, just, okay, what's feeling right? And then, you know, the invitation to share in women's workshops started coming. And it was just like, 
that was the message that the river was speaking to me. He's like, mm. women's work, women's work. Mm. So just being in that feminine place of, of being able to respond rather than direct yeah. and, and receive and, and leave so much open to the great mystery, mm. leave so much open mm. to mm. Just however it's supposed to happen. And, yeah. and that really deep sense of trust, knowing that, that we're so taken care of by Ma, Mm. You know, that, that all we are our that needs will as be well. provided for. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just allowing us to feel that energy within us. Yeah, yeah. which can be we can kind of get a bit separated from in, you know, in the built-up society. Yeah, but it is still possible. Yeah, and this is something that's not only for women. You know, it's like that that ha orientation towards life of of becoming more feminine is for the masculine as well as for for men and women mm -hmm. and just tuning into what's natural mm. i think the natural rhythms the natural flows and cycles mm. Mm. yeah yeah thank you yeah and you oh, i also wanted to ask you a bit about um kind of practical ways of of feeling emotion in your body and I know that you know correlates to the feminine expression as well mm -hmm. but um, what have you found really beneficial in you know allowing your body to feel everything that it's going through yeah well what I've really been feeling is that it takes so much energy to hold this illusion of separation in our bodies you know it's like on that on that really deep level so many of us understand that we are one mm. that we are connected mm. to all life to mm. all creatures to every tree but we're living in this world of duality and separation and we're holding so much of that in our bodies in this tension of you know how much energy it takes to hold together this armor of protecting yourself from other people yeah. protecting yourself from truly experiencing and giving and receiving love mm. because we're stuck in this fear mm. and you know everybody is holding some aspect of that illusion of separation in their bodies yeah. and as we become more and more conscious we start to unravel and discover where it's stuck yeah and you know, some movement practices are are so profound because we get to in that natural feminine way uncover where it is yeah. you know that the masculine like the masculinity of yoga in this world right now is like you know there's like it's it can be very robotic and very focused on just getting it right yeah and alignment yeah. and you know just like and getting to the next level and the next position and all of these things it's so masculine so what I really have found works for me and what I love to share is a more feminine approach where we're realizing that every single moment is different and that the way to find and unlock the emotion that's stuck in our body, the emotion is energy in motion. And because of all the conditioning that we have in society of people telling us that no women are not supposed to be this way or girls are not supposed mm -hmm. to be this mm -hmm. way or it's not appropriate to be angry mm. or you know your parents when you're just so full of joy and want to laugh at some point they told you to be quiet because the adults are doing something so there's so much stuck so energy much. in our bodies yeah you know joy as well as trauma and yeah. anger and yeah. you know all of these things so just to be present mm. you know, just mm. to j take the time to feel what's happening mm. inside of your body mm. and that's something that you know in in the practices that i share so many people say well i've never just taken the time to feel yeah yeah you know, just to be present we're always on to the next thing onto the next thing yeah and you know because life is so big and there's so much to feel we've become experts at numbing ourselves mm, it's almost fear. too much you yeah. know so we just want to separate from it exactly yeah yeah i know that i've yeah. had a that's a big like natural response for my body yeah. and it's taken a while to actually yeah when i do feel something's up to really sit and you know do the movement or do the sounds or you know whatever practical response i need to do mm -hmm. to allow myself to come back into balance yeah yeah yeah, and we all do it yeah. all the time. It's just like, 
you know, there's something happening and then you go and you want to go on the internet and turn on Facebook, you exactly. know, just like these distractions yeah. that are taking us away from the truth and what's real. Yeah. So one of the most beautiful ways, like you said, is just being in that presence of, in, of nature and allowing yourself to express through sound. One of the most profound ways that that energy in motion can move mm. is through sound. So just feeling where it is in the body, where it's stuck in the body, and what sound does that want to make without needing it to sound beautiful. Yeah. Just really, I mean, it's most likely going to sound really ugly <laughs> just because it just needs to move. And then just allowing yourself to move and from that responsive place of like, okay, my shoulder is stuck. What does it want to do? Okay, it wants to move like this. Okay, mm. my neck needs to move like this in mm. order to find some <laughs> release and freedom. And yeah. And just to like allow yourself to have that time. And one thing that really helps me as well is um, doing it with music, with yeah. really loud music in a place where I feel okay to express. I feel like I don't have to worry about anybody else yeah. disturbing anyone else. So like close the doors and turn the music really loud mm. and allow yourself to scream and express and shake and yeah. move the energy yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it also really helps to do it with other people mm. because that that field gets stronger as you do this, as you do the practices totally. with other people. Yep, and you all clear for one another as well. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that's a really, a really amazing point, and I'd really recommend anyone watching this video to try that out. <laughs> it creates a lot of healing, yeah. and you really don't realize how much you have stuck yeah. inside. And I yeah. think, yeah, I think females even more than males are just internalized so much and like we we naturally hold on to so much because we are so receptive so we and very intuitive so we kind of pick up on so much yeah and yeah you may not realize why you're having some sort of you know imbalance in your body but it instead of you know taking a medicine or you know doing the surface sort of physical stuff maybe I think the practice that we're trying to talk about is going deeper than that and into the emotion and into where is this coming from, what is it, see it clearly and then, you know, use physical practices to get it out. Yeah. So. Yeah. And even five minutes a day, mm. you know, even five minutes a day, sometimes, you know, we have this idea that, you know, it's going to take a lot of time or, or we don't have the time, but, you know, as a regular practice, yeah. just a few minutes a day really helps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Set aside that time, it'll definitely be worth it either at night before you go to bed or in the morning if that works better for you in your schedule or any time. Yeah, just allow yourself that time to rebalance and feel where you're at. Yeah. So one last question I wanted to ask you is um, if you could give a message to your 15 year old self from something that you've learnt in you know your current state now or through your journey what would it be <laughs> i know it's a big one so <laughs> feel into it <laughs> i'm sure there's many things yeah many things yeah i think trusting you know it's like as as many times as as um as i've been in fear and then seen what happens when I completely let go. Mm. It's like every time that happens, something more amazing opens. So being in that place of trusting mm. that that magic's going to unfold You're and that always I don't have to for. control anything, yeah. that, that, that magic in the ways that I least expect it are yeah. going to come. Yeah. yeah. Um, really honoring my body temple. Mm -hmm. And you know, doing the things that I know that I need to do to take care of myself. Mm. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. Thank you. Yeah. I hope you really gained something from this little interview today and are inspired to implement these little practical ways of feeling, feeling more in your body and being receptive more to where the emotions and where the discomfort is coming from mm. yeah did you have anything else you want to share no no all. okay thank you Chloe yeah pleasure yeah yeah um, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this I'm gonna be updating it 
pretty regularly and keeping on finding more inspiring women to share really potent truths that you need to know. So have a beautiful day and thank you so much. Mm.